Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be introducing a very cool concept on the NCIX website. Now, NCIX has had it figured out for a long time that we should allow users to build computers using whatever parts they want, whether they want a top of the line graphics card, top of the line power supply, mid range CPU, whatever they want, you can do it at NCIX. Anything we stock, you can put together into a PC. But what happens, what goes along with letting users do anything they want is they tend to make mistakes sometimes. So we are implementing along with the PC at NCIX.com email, which you can obviously contact if you have any questions about a new PC. We are implementing a compatibility checker on the website. Very cool concept. What it does right now in its beta form is it actually goes through a couple basic components in the system that users often make mistakes with and verifies that they are indeed compatible. I'll show you how it works. So before I go into too much depth about the mechanism itself, why don't I show you all the different places you're going to be able to access it. Right now it is hidden on the site, but through the buy a PC option, you're going to be able to use the check compatibility link here above the continue button. In our classic PC builder, which allows you to select pretty much anything on the NCIX website and put it with just about anything else, we're going to add a check compatibility button right there. There. And finally, in the shopping cart, because using the shopping cart, you can add, again, anything from the NCIX website to your cart. It'll prompt you as soon as you put a few things in your cart for the custom assembly for $50, and then is also going to add a check compatibility dialog here so you can actually check the compatibility of items in your shopping cart as well. So even if you're not buying a pre-assembled PC, you can still do a basic compatibility check if you're buying a system to assemble yourself. So let's show you guys an example of how this works, and I'm gonna use the buy a PC option on the website. That is our most advanced builder. All of the systems on there are compatible by default, but we do have the advanced options uh, link on the far right hand side, which allows you to take any part you want and pretty much sub it into a system. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take an AMD Phenom 2 X6 based system. I'm gonna sub in an Intel Core i5 2500K. You know, maybe I really want the 2500K, but I don't know that this motherboard is not necessarily compatible with every CPU out there. So now, all I have to do is click check compatibility, boom, right there. Compatibility check, be check beta. We have found an issue. You have selected the 2500K and the ASUS M4889 GTD Pro, which I happen to have in front of me. What a fluke. Okay, and it tells you right here, the compatible motherboards with these processors are LGA1155, so it tells me how to find something that is compatible. And then the attributes detected for the motherboard are AM3, AM3+, Crossfire, SATA3, and USB3. So these two are not compatible. And it can actually find a number of different incompatibilities, including heat sinks, RAM, cases, and motherboards. Most of it is based around the motherboard. So if you select a motherboard that you know has the features you want, then you can be sure that you're going to have a case it fits in, RAM that it fits, RAM that fits in it, a CPU that fits in it, and a heat sink that fits on top of that. Now, I've talked about what's good about the compatibility check so far, but I haven't talked about any of the limitations. So have a look at this dialog here. You can see that we've said they're not compatible, but we haven't recommended a motherboard that is compatible with that CPU or a CPU that is compatible with that motherboard. That functionality is something that we will be looking at adding in the near future. So that's one cool thing that's coming. We're also going to be adding a feedback link. So if you are using the compatibility check feature and you find something where, oh, it's saying that's not compatible, but it is, or it's saying that's compatible, but it's not, you can go ahead and report that to us to help us improve it over time. That's what's really gonna help us turn this into a very effective tool. And the last thing that we're gonna be adding is, sometimes NCIX has information that the end user doesn't necessarily have, and we will be adding an ability on our end to filter out certain items that we don't really recommend for a PC system, such as very large heat sinks that are unlikely to survive the trip during shipping. Not every end user is familiar with the weight requirements on a given socket, how much it can support, uh, how far away it's going to be going, whether that's going to cause any damage. So that's the kind of thing that we can use to dramatically reduce the number of systems that our customers have problems with once they arrive. Now, if you have any feedback on this and the link is not there yet, you can go ahead and check out the NCIX PC page on Facebook. Feel free to leave any feedback in there as well. And uh, Ivan, the, the crazy Russian, will 
be monitoring that feedback to make sure that we're making this better as we go along. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.